Also tonight, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigration, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, sheds light on how the Bahamas is expected to address any impact following the exit of the United Kingdom from the European Union. That decision, the result of a referendum last Thursday in Britain. Many countries around the world are bracing for any possible impact to service industries and trade industries. Our view is the Caribbean regional negotiating machinery should be utilized uh, to um, approach the UK if it comes to that um, on, on any negotiating position so that you can have a comprehensive um, agreement or treaty which uh, benefits all the countries. It, it would be simply more efficient to do it that way. One of the things we are looking at uh, next week in Guyana is what is Jamaica's view about CARICOM because the Prime Minister, when he was leader of the opposition, indicated that Jamaica would withdraw from CARICOM. I've spoken to the foreign minister since that, and they have said that that's not their position, that their view is that there has to be some tweaking with regard to what is happening in, in CARICOM. Uh, they are interested in, uh, in the views of the Bahamas uh, ab about this, and so I expect that the two prime ministers will meet next week to talk more about uh, how they should go forward. But we're very interested in what Jamaica's position is going to be. Minister Mitchell also pointed out that the Bahamas enjoys strong tourism ties with the United Kingdom. And he also shared his views on whether government expects any impact to that relationship. The main uh, tourism vehicle from the United Kingdom is, uh, is British Airways. Uh, British Airways, he indicated, is, ex is actually expanding the size of the aircraft that they're bringing to the Bahamas. That's going to start shortly. And so the number of seats will increase uh, so that that's good news. We don't expect that to change. We expect the tourism to continue. Uh, and what you would see is, is only if you have a problem in the longer term, if, for example, there's a contraction of some kind in the British economy, which uh, results in people not having discretionary income. But that's not anticipated. The country, uh, the United Kingdom, appears to be on a good financial footing. People have uh, adequate discretionary income. And as I say, British Airways is expanding the number of seats coming into the country, according to our tourism minister.